Welcome to the Man of Fauna podcast. My name is Corey, your host, and today we're going to be talking about failure. It's one of those things that once I defined it in my life, it made a massive difference on my outlook on life. I think many people go through life thinking that they're failures, but really they've just attempted something and because they've not quite hit the mark in terms of a goal or a thing that they were meaning to achieve, then they're just call that failure and really it was just an attempt if you take the different thought process of uh if i tra- attempt something and it doesn't work out i reset and then i go back and try again then that's the what i call success the success is not completely achieving the thing it's actually uh persevering and being able to continue going until you get now i've seen this many times in my own life that uh, I remember when I was in school, I used to be uh, one of the top, uh, fa- one of the fastest runners. And I was, I think, fifth in my year at the time. And what I found was all the guys that were really, really quick, they would be amazing on the um, 100 meters or if you got onto the 200 meters. And I never made it for the relay. So that meant, you know, I was always in the periphery when it came to the relays. And what I found was with these other guys that were quicker, uh, we came to the point where we had to learn how to do hur- hurdles. And with hurdles, it's not only speed, it's also technique. I managed to learn the technique better than the other guys. But the guys that were so much quicker, because they tried it a few times and failed, they decided they were, they were not good at it. And this is how many people look at view themselves in life, that they are perfectly capable of doing something they know they're capable of doing something but when it comes to it and they hit that roadblock or that um thing that's going to kind of stop them or at least uh, a, a bit of a um a back, backward step they just take the backward step and never do it again never take that forward step again and today i thought i would make this podcast just thinking about um myself as well then there are times where I fall into this trap where I take a back step and then I just stay there and not make that forward motion because the success, the actual success is the fact that you've persevered and achieved because if you decide to go for something, so in my life I've decided I want to go be an entrepreneur, I want to help as many people as possible, but also make, become financially stable for my wife not to go to work. And I've got all these goals and the thing that I've realized that is stopping me from uh, achieving is not the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. So in terms of um, digital marketing, I, I've got enough skill to make a million for a business for myself and even do the same. I know how to uh, position a product. I know how to create a product. I know how to amass people. I understand the things that need to fall into place in order to make things happen but the fact that a few times that I've launched and failed uh, I've taken too long before I launched again which has made the the period of me being able to you know proceed or even create momentum not there so every time I sort of gain a bit of momentum things look like they're going well I hit a roadblock and then all of a sudden I just sort of stop and this is the reason why I'm making this because I was really thinking through why is it that um there's some people that are I'm, I'm part of these entrepreneurial groups and some of the entrepreneurial groups you see people as they come in and they they talk about their life and everything else and you start seeing them progressing as well so there's some people that have come way after me within the digital marketing space and you, it's quite um discouraging in the sense that in myself that I now see some of those guys doing very, very well in terms of helping other businesses, uh, creating wealth for their lives, but also making a difference. And this is exactly what I want to do, making a difference within the world. And it's amazing. I celebrate the achievements that they're achieving. But in terms of myself, when I now start taking an audit of my own life and my own journey as an entrepreneur, I've always um, launched and then it had high expectations for it to to work and then it crashes and once it crashes I crash with it and not pick myself up and dust myself off and keep going the only thing that I've persevered is not 
give up the dream as an entrepreneur. But in terms of the day-to-day uh, things and tasks that I need to do, I tend to start neglecting them. And this is coming from the fact that I, I decided to start doing the Man of Honor podcast. And I initially, uh, my goal, my target was to do seven episodes in one week. I only managed to do four and I got a little bit discouraged and then I didn't do it. And I was thinking about it this week and that if I don't go at it on Monday, I am going to be in a situation where I will then say, oh, I'll do it on Wednesday and then Wednesday comes along and I'll say it on Friday. And I've seen that this is a, a, a common theme on things that are a, a journey. So when when it's not a quick fix, when it's not a quick uh, turnover, yeah, there is that thing of, oh, I will do it another time. And I've done this with my weight loss as well. So when it comes to exercising and being fit, I go for a little while. And then once I don't see the amount of results or I sort of slip up a little bit, I end up going down and not really resetting and going back on it so i'm making this podcast more for myself and uh, also anybody else that has had these challenges where if you come across a point where you've hit a sort of a, a backtrack or a sidestep i would like to encourage you just to keep going you know there's some whether it's weight loss whether it's for the job that you were thinking that you wanted to go for but you're not so confident in yourself because you've already applied for it and your, your boss said no or whatever whatever thing that's stopping you i would like to say it's not your fault nobody's ever told you about failure failure is not going to try and achieve something and then you get a side step it's only a side step and this is what i'm trying to say that Every time you hit a roadblock, it's only a sidestep. You just have to keep putting the next foot forward so you keep going. And this is exactly what I'm saying to myself now. That with the podcast, I'm not doing the same thing. Just put the next foot forward. Yes, I made four episodes. This is a new week. I've reset. I'm not going to go again for my target. And my target is for seven episodes in one week and then continue on from there. I want to be able to publish every single day and track the journey of the man of honor and also track my own journey so again uh backtracking to what we we just talked about that failure is not the actual um failure to achieve the task failure is actually not trying to do this the task you being able to get up when you failed if if you've um failed on your, your, your nutrition when you're exercising, or you failed to go to the gym, or you failed to to do that one task that you're supposed to do in order to progress things or to keep things going forward, it's just a setback. You just have to get up, dust yourself, and keep going forward. And I thank you very much for listening to this. Um, Corey from Men of Honor. And if you want to hear more information like this and want to know more about stuff like this, Join the Man of Honor Facebook group. If you are a lady and you know a man that might want information like this and that needs information like this, where they failed a little bit, uh, it's a husband or it's a boyfriend or it's a relative, your brother, your, you know, somebody you know that uh, has tried things and they're down in the dumps because they feel like they're a failure. Uh, I would like you to tell them that they're not failures. It's just that the failure is actually not doing anything. So they need to dust themselves and keep going for it. Because when you achieve it, it's the most greatest thing. In fact, uh, there's one story that um, that comes to mind when I talk about this. I took my daughter once for a bike ride. And then we went to this point where there was um, peaks and valleys. So when the, on the top, the highest peak, part of the, the, the peak, because she's quite confident bike ride i knew she, when she once she goes down this hill it's going to be fast but once she gets to the bottom and climbs back up she's going to be very happy but i knew it was going to be a massive challenge for her so i said to her you need to uh, uh, make sure that your, your feet are steady you crouch a little bit a little bit when you're going down make sure you keep your arms on to on your bar on your handlebars and as you're going down and as you go faster just make sure that you feel like your, don't close your eyes, don't panic, just know that you are safe. And while she was trying to overcome her fear, I could see that she came to a point where she was feeling like 
she was going to give up. And I said, if you give up today, you will end up giving up. On when every time you feel uncomfortable, you're always going to give up. So you you need to embrace the fact that you're uncomfortable, that you're a little bit afraid. And I said to her, being brave isn't um, not having fear. Being brave is to have fear and then do the thing that you're afraid of, even though you feel it. So once she grasped that fact that it's okay to be afraid, she went down that hill and she was hurtling down such a speed that she ended up coming out on the other side. And she was so excited that she ended up going again and again and again. And this is exactly what I'm trying to say, that a lot of people have got fear when it comes to a failure. And it's fear itself that actually stops you from achieving what you want to achieve. And again, um, failure is not uh, going for your goal and then missing it. Failure is actually not going for your goal at all. So I would like to leave you at this point And I thank you very much for listening. My name is Corey. This is the Men of Honor podcast. Hope to see you again. Thank you very much for your time. And by the way, um, there's a few speakers that will be coming soon. So look out for that. And uh, like I said, um, it's only for... It's a, we've got a Facebook group, Facebook group called Men of Honor. And if it's only for men, so unfortunately women, you cannot join. But we've got uh, special speakers that are going to be coming on. We've got a doctor for vaccine, uh, who specializes in vaccectomies. And we've also got a, an intimacy coach coming soon again to give us some coaching. So please look out for that. And thank you very much for your time.